Special Trace. Nice and simple. And a wishbone rig. I like to always leave a long tag end on the hook so I can push it through the worm. It just stops the worm from all piling up. Two ounce lead. It's 32 foot of water, looks clear ground at the moment, so I'm going to drop it down. I've often found when I'm drifting from a place that uh, they'll follow it for ages. Sometimes just a quick bit of rod movement like that can induce a take. But that's a dinner sized place. There you go, good sized fish. The great thing about place actually is an eating fish. They're beautiful to eat for a start. They come off the bone nice and easily. And they're really easy to gut. So if you don't like gutting fish, this might wriggle, but I've cut his head clean off, so he's dead. So, a pair of scissors into the butt. C-shaped like that, trying to stay close to the flesh so you don't actually cut through the stomach. Right round to the gill, there's the C-shape and you can just pull all that out. The bit that's sometimes left is tucked in just down there, that's the bit you've got to get. As you can see that's now clean. I mean there is an argument to say keep them alive until you're ready to go home to keep them fresh but just don't see that being ethical in this day and age. The only time I ever eat fish when I've caught them myself, if I'm served them, I never, never go to the shops and buy them. I like to know where my food comes from and I like them to be a treat that I've worked for. That's my hook. There you go, fish just flipped. It's got no guts and no head. Explain that. <laughs>